Hey, you are watching Lilan Crestu, and in this video, we will show you what to expect when you come to Egypt, the inside of the Great Pyramid, its people and culture, our awesome tour guide, and how to be a tourist. Driver will meet you in 10 minutes. Please. Waiting for our transport. To pick us up. He said 10 minutes, but he said we must stay right here, otherwise he will lose us. And we don't have airtime or data to contact anyone if they don't show up. Five minutes later. His name is Mohammed. Hi Mohammed. Nice to meet you Mohammed. Let's go. I hear you are busy today. Thank you for coming. Good morning from Cairo, Egypt. The last you've heard of us is when we came into the hotel. We're now on our way to get breakfast and then the guide said he will pick us up at... Nine. What? Nine? It's now eight. So we have to run. We have one hour to get breakfast and get everything ready. And then we will show you basically the first day of the tour. We don't know what the itinerary is, so... I don't know. You'll have adventure. to wait and see. <laughs> Okay, sure. It's okay. Good morning. Good morning. We'll start by Sakara first. Historically, it's supposed to be the beginning of the Egyptian history. This is our amazing tour guide, Salam, who is also an Egyptologist. It's the wall is well. When you come to Cairo, you must be prepared for the crazy amount of stray dogs. And if you're like me, it will definitely make you sad. And this little guy or girl gets fed at least. Don't be mistaken that this is tourist central. <laughs> Spoiler, this was nothing compared to what will come. We were standing around waiting to go to the step pyramid. This area is one of Egypt's richest archaeological sites. Oh, we are here. The first pyramid has been built ever around the world, even in Egypt. It is a step pyramid. What is the difference between the step pyramid and the other pyramids? First, it has been built for the first time. But it didn't take the complete shape, the complete triangular shape. And the tomb was under the ground, actually. On our way to the Step Pyramid is this temple, which may have been used as an offering site and for storage of various artifacts used in rituals. But archaeologists and scholars have been divided on what the temple was actually used for. My history brain is like too much information. Three. They should Talking about the Step Pyramid of Saqqara, it was like not only a real tomb, it was a real palace. Salam explained to us that this whole complex, including the courtyard, was the royal palace where the king lived and where festivals was held like the coronation. This is actually a gate that you use to transport yourself from one place to another place. The giants from the olden time uh, were, were known to use this gate. And my wife is attempting to cross it. Uh, I'm not so sure that it would work, but let's see. Go! I 
and I'm back. <laughs> We're done with the first place of three. We're going to go to the second place right now. Hi. I just heard Habibi. So what is this? This is? Yeah, we will go up and we start to speak. If you okay. want to take photos. Oh, let's go up. Was this moved here? No. It, it was here. It was here it originally. It was here from the beginning and we tried to take it out to put in somewhere else and because it has been covered by mud for a long long time actually the mud started to eat it from down. So and this is King Ramses? King Ramses II, second, yeah. Why he became, he was well known as the most famous king because first he ruled Egypt the longest era, the longest time. Nefertari is his wife. His wife. Okay. But he has about 42 wives. Okay, so that's like the important wife. The real one. The, the real, the first one. The first and the last actually. The he loved her so much, he didn't show any other wives oh. with him, only Nefertari. Do you hear? Yeah. Do you understand? <laughs> so I, have, I can go through 42 before yeah, I sure. find yeah. the one. Sure. I'm supposed to be the last one. Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, Sphinx. Is it the head of King Ramses the second? Yeah. And lion's body. Lion's body. For the last part of today's trip, which is the biggest part, we're going to Giza to see the pyramid. Okay. We stopped for lunch. It's included in the packet. It's an open backpack. Guys. Thank you. Where's everyone? Here he comes. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hungry. I'm hungry. Pyramids. Many people start to ask about how or who, starting from who. We found just a cartouche or a name of a king which has been written later by someone inside the inner chamber of the pyramid. This name is Khufu. Khufu. Has it been made by humans or has it made by aliens or uh, <laughs> giants or this kind? So it has been made by humans. Okay. So how long time they spent? More than I guess. 20. Yeah. Ah, oh, you, you already gave it away. Uh, I, you, you told me the first one because it's the first one. I guess it took longer. So the first one took like 30 years. But this one, the stones are a lot yeah. bigger. So I would have guessed like at least 35 to 40 years. No. It takes short of time. So the most of the accuracy took about 20 years. Oh, both of us on our way inside the pyramid. It's quite exciting. This is the biggest pyramid. It is 
bloody huge i have to say if, if you look at how big a stone is and you take into consideration how many stones there are um yeah it's it's mind-blowing you have to be here to see it I cannot believe I'm on the pyramid right now. <laughs> <laughs> you walk here and there's no actual safety precautions. Yeah, so if you slip it's down four meters it's like standing on a cliff and we're not even three yeah we're basically three stones up we are inside the tomb Okay, so now we are in a tiny shaft. <laughs> I think we are about 30, 30 meters. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. You okay? Yeah, you're fine. Good luck. Oh, thank Good luck. You. I guess this is about probably 40 degrees <laughs> walking up <laughs> the air becomes very thin I'm starting yeah. to breathe yeah, the oxygen levels are getting low the air becomes very hot <laughs> Lost my footing. <laughs> this is at the top. It's very far down. Oh my word. We are in ancient history. <sighs> Never. Oh, shucks. <laughs> oh, what's this? So this is the chamber of La Dida. <laughs> we are in the middle of the pyramid. We are very fascinated about what happened uh, uh, long ago and all the the reasoning why things are how why, they yeah. are why the, the why, why the why yeah the big secrets the, <laughs> the secret you will know one day when you kick the can go to the next life yeah so um, it all is worth it once you actually get here and you see the pyramid how enormous it is how gigantic the undertaking would have been when they actually did this a thousand Aww. a couple of thousand years ago i'm literally emotional i want to cry like it's the third time today i'm like i just want to cry being i'm like standing on history right now and i'm a history teacher so it's it's crazy just getting to and from with all the tourists over here Anyways, um, I think this might be the last stop but we're here to see the Sphinx Wait, so the Sphinx is what? Yeah. To, for who? After they finish the second pyramid here 
they found out that there is a big, big mountain. Just imagine that this statue was still a, a big mountain. Then they tried to take this mountain, to move this mountain, or to cut its small rocks and use it later for the little pyramids. But they found that the quality is not good enough, not sharp enough. It will fall down if they use it as a pyramid. That's why they tried to curve it and giving us a shape which express the cleverness of the king. Thank you for watching this first part of our Egypt tour. Today was all about the pyramids and the Sphinx and the major structures. And I think tomorrow we will see the different statues, the museums, but we'll take you on a whole day tour for that. We'll just take you with us. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And thank you so much for sticking through until the end of this video. Enjoy whatever you see from our side, I guess. Uh, we are not professional, but it's professional enough. <laughs>